Okay, hello. So we finished up the last video by finishing off the hand and attaching it to the arm. In this video we're going to go through modeling the shoulder and attaching that to the arm. So we'll have the whole arm section done. and This will be a nice uh, change of pace from the hand where it was quite complicated and this is going to be quite simple really. So what I'm going to do first is just move the arm over into position on the reference and I'm just going to draw a box now to start our shoulder off so I'm going to make the box roughly the size I want the shoulder to be so something like this size here and in our front view now we're just going to position this roughly where we want it as well so something like this size and I'm just going to convert this to an editable poly now and I'm going to change this material before I start anything. So we have this and we've converted it to an editable poly. So in the x-ray mode we're just going to line up a few of these points. So what we're going to do is line this set of vertexes here with this point here where the shoulder joins to the pectoral muscle and these ones we're going to move over to line up with this line on the arm and these ones we're going to move over to line up with this edge of the arm <coughs> now this one here we're going to put it we could put it there or there but I'm going to put it kind of halfway between both of those points because what we're going to do we're going to have another connection going down here because we need an edge to connect to this this is going to come up here and we can use that vertex to get this shape here and we're going to have to add some connections this direction to get this shape out here. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to add three connections here. And just line these up as well. So I'm going to get this one, line it up, kind of follow this line on the reference image here, this line here. So something like this. And again, we want to get this kind of curve all the way down to the arm. So this one is going to go out to the edge of the shoulder here and it's just going to follow this shape. So something like that. And now what I'm going to do is just these ones I just dragged out, I'm going to just move them in a little bit off the reference. And same with this one. The reason I'm doing that is we're going to have another connection coming down here to connect to this and that's actually going to be the furthest part out of the shoulder so that's going to be the one that lines up with the reference. So we have this shape now and we're just going to add this connection that we need to connect down here. So with connect settings, one connection and I'm just going to line this vertex with roughly there and this one is going to start this shape off. <coughs> this one is going to line up here because um, the top part here is going to go into the neck so it's going to be a bit different there. So now we have all that shape and if you look in our left view now we don't really have a shoulder shape at all. So all I'm going to do is start to move these vertexes in. So this area here is going to be um, the narrowest kind of point because it's the top of the shoulder. So I'm just going to grab all those top edges for now. And I'm just going to scale them on the X till I get something like this. And I'm going to just start scaling all these in actually, just kind of to get a rough shape of what I'm looking for. So them ones are fine. These ones need to come in a bit. And then these ones need to come in. These ones need to come in quite a lot actually, so I'm just going to go into my wireframe and line these up. So these are connecting to this part here. So that's kind of where I want that vertex. And then this vertex is going to be up here. <coughs> so now in our front view you'll see these line up pretty well. And I'm just going to rotate around and double check all this. So this 
vertex here needs to come out to this one. So in our left view, we'll just move this out to there. And then the same with this one here. In our left view again, we'll just move this out to the edge there. So now we've got that kind of shape started. And now what I'm going to do is just shape this a little bit better. So back in our left view, I'm going to scale this in a bit more. And now I'm just going to kind of rotate around the model and see what kind of shape we've got. I'm going to turn off the X-ray mode for this. So what I want is these vertexes to scale in a bit more even. And then these vertexes are actually going to come out a bit. And then these ones are going to come in again. So we're going to have this kind of <coughs> um, rough shape of what's going to be start to be a kind of circular shape. So we have all this. What we need to do is just grab all these vertices and just pull these out a bit and kind of start to line them up just so we get this rounded shape. And let's do the same on this side. So just pull these out a little bit and then pull them up just to kind of get this overall shape here that we're going for. And I'm just looking at this to make sure everything's fairly rounded. It is fairly rounded. I want to just maybe pull this out a little bit more and maybe pull this one out a tiny bit as well. Okay, so we have this general shape that I'm looking for. Now I am going to move all these in a bit actually. I'm just going to go into this wireframe to make sure I get those back to there as well. And I'm just going to scale all those in a little bit more. Not much because what I want to start doing is just getting it ready to kind of receive the next edge loop. I think maybe they're down a bit too low. Same with these probably. This one isn't though, so I'll move that down. I'll just move these vertices up and over a bit. I'm just trying to get this general circular shape that I want the shoulder to be. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to put in this next edge loop that we need which will connect to here and here. So it's just going to use one connection again. And what I'm going to do is deselect all these edges and these edges. So I only have those ones. In fact I'm going to deselect that one as well. Now in our front view this is the part that's going to line up with the reference. So I'm just going to pull it out a bit. And I'm just looking at this. I don't really like how far that is out. Maybe all these. Just going to try and match those up a bit more. Again. Something like that. And I'm going to put this one down here where it connects. Then I'm going to move all of these in a bit. And move these ones in just to match it up properly with the reference. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is grab these two middle vertices on the shoulder and in our front view I'm just going to pull these straight up just to get this top arch of the shoulder. So now all we need to do is kind of the arm's going to connect here, or the shoulder's going to connect here to the torso. So what we need to do is kind of round out this hole because it's going to be connecting to a fairly circular shape on the torso. So we need to get something like that. So what we have is these. Oh, I moved that. Sorry. So we have these. And I'm going to delete those polygons. So now all we'll have is this. And next thing to do is just 
position this last bit of the connection that we used. So in my front view, I'm just going to move this over and down a little bit. I'm actually going to pull this one out a little bit more, and down a little bit more, because that's just going to create the armpit area. And it's fine, it's coming over here a bit too much now, but it's fine for now. We'll fix that when we get to it. So I might just pull those out a little bit more as well. Just to get this shape a bit more smooth. So we have all this now. And this is almost done now, in fact. What I'm going to do is just pull this out a bit more that way. I'm going to go into my left view here just to double check a few things. So it's fairly round looking. Maybe pull this up a little bit more. Maybe start to pull these down actually. Just to kind of round out that shape a bit more. front view just double check everything again. No, I'll keep them there actually. So now I'm just gonna delete these inner polygons from the shoulder. And that's the shoulder done pretty much. I'm just gonna do one last check. I've kinda gone away there so now. Um yeah it's not actually as round as I want here. So what I'm going to do is select this whole edge loop here and deselect that edge. Now I'm just going to bring it over a bit just to kind of round out that whole area and then I'm going to bring this one vertex here back a bit just to keep that shape. Maybe bring that back as well actually. Just so we're getting a bit of a smoother circle into shape. So what I'm going to do is grab these three vertices just instead of the line. It doesn't really matter what you do. Just move those in a bit as well. And get something roughly this shape. Now just double check my views again to make sure everything's lining up pretty well. I think I'll pull these in a bit more. Now that I've done that, I'm going to have to pull these two vertices up a little bit, I think. Just to kind of give it a bit of shape on the top. Okay, so now we have this. What I'm going to do is, in my front view, I'm just going to grab this edge loop here, which we've lined up where we want, and this shape is what we want. So all I'm going to do is pull this up a little bit for now and go out of edge mode, select this arm and attach the shoulder to it and go into vertex mode and now I'm just going to target weld from the shoulder to the arm just so these vertexes get put back where we just had them a second ago and they're now going to be welded so just go around the whole arm not that way and now the arm is connected to the shoulder and that's this one done it's that simple really we have our hole here I might just move this in a little bit more maybe just to kind of round out this whole area still and yep that's this video done really. If we put Turbo Smooth on it again, we can kind of see the shape we've ended up with, which is quite nice really. And um, yeah, so in the next video, we're just going to block out the torso and attach that to the arm then. So we'll have a good section of the arm done, or the body done then. I'm just going to move this out a tiny bit, just to give us some room here. And <coughs> yeah, so that's this done. So I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.